So stage 22 of the Camino, just left Astorgia, heading to a place called Font Cibadon today. I actually got out really early this morning and was out of the hostel by about 20 past six because I wanted to have a walk around the Astorgia while the streets were quiet to take some pictures. Last night it was really busy, lots of people out drinking and things and it's such a pretty place that, yeah, I wanted to experience it for myself. Lovely sunrise today. I've already coated myself in sunscreen because the forecast is saying it's going to be 28, 29 degrees and uh, it's about 10 past seven in the morning now and the aim is to get as much of the walk done as soon as possible before we get roasted in that afternoon heat and apparently the last five kilometers of today's walk are all uphill over some scrambly rocks. Next village is a couple of kilometers away now so that will be the first port of call for coffee and something to eat. So it's just come up to 9am in the morning, just past the nine and a half kilometre mark as well. And I don't have any other update right now other than to say it's a gorgeous start to the morning. Fantastic scenery, beautiful woodland and the birds are just making some incredible sounds too. I'm really, really enjoying this moment right now. So it's 10.30 in the morning now. We are about 14 and a half kilometers in. Boiling hot already. Just stopped off in a town called El Ganzo. I think that was the name of it for some coffee and I had an ice cream as well, even though it was only 10.15 in the morning. About another 11 or 12K to go until we reach our destination for the day. Love to get there before two o'clock if we can, because uh, we are really gonna cook otherwise. So that's it, another stage over, stage 22 completed. Currently in Font Cibadon, which is a village on top of a hill. And we walked from Astorgia. It was almost five hours walking again and another 24.5 kilometers done. Really, really hot today though, 28 degrees Celsius and carrying the backpack in that heat hiking up steep inclines and the terrain underfoot as well was really rocky and unstable. It was really challenging, but I enjoyed it. The scenery was just fantastic. Really, really enjoyable day walking. And what's uh, really interesting is at the top up here, there's lots of little, like restaurants and things, but there's a pizzeria run by two Italian brothers that do fantastic Italian pizzas, obviously, with like, they've got the proper pizza ovens. They also do tiramisu and only Italian beer. So that's where we've just had dinner today. And that was really pleasant as well. Gonna be walking to Ponferrada tomorrow. I think that's mainly downhill after today's ascent. And I think we also go over or go past the highest point on the whole Camino at some point tomorrow too. So it's gonna be an interesting one. And I think the temperatures apparently are gonna hit like 31. So that's gonna be fun. So stage 22, 
just left Fonse Baden. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny morning. Um, because we're so high up, I was expecting it to be really cold, so I put all my warm layers on, but after 10 minutes of walking, I've already had to ditch them because it's not cold at all. And about to pass by the highest point of the Camino, where there's like this big mound of stones where people passing by, pilgrims passing by, leave a stone to symbolise leaving behind a burden or you know, a memory that they're looking to purge themselves of or something they're looking to purge themselves of while on the Camino. So that will be interesting. So we just passed the nine kilometre mark and it's been the most spectacular morning. Sun rising behind us, spring fauna kicking out, lovely smells, spectacular scenery, just really, really enjoying it. The only thing is, is that the path underfoot is super wobbly and unstable and every other step is a sprained ankle waiting to happen. So do you have to be really super cautious about that? And I think that we had a good idea by staying in the village that we stayed in last night because up until now, well up until the last few days, we've been following the book pretty religiously, stopping off in the set, 33 stages out, as outlined. But again, yesterday we kind of went off piste and we walked five kilometers up to the mountain town that we stayed in. And uh, that basically meant that we didn't have to do that at the start this morning, because I think if you do follow that initial stage, going up and over this mountain pass, especially in the heat, makes for a really, really challenging day. So we'll call that a good accidental tactic that we employed last night. Anyway, not too far away from the next village now. And that's also the halfway point of today's walk. So looking forward to getting there and just resting up for a bit. So we're about 15 and a half kilometers in and we just passed through the town of El Acibo and uh, after getting through there in the lovely old houses, the path down is so treacherous and slippery underfoot. I really fear for some of the less abled pilgrims that I've seen on the Camino because I nearly fell over about 10 times and it really took a lot of concentration not to, you know, injure myself. It was really, really unpleasant. So glad to have passed that by. And, as soon as you're through it, you end up in a really lovely woodland, kind of like, like Jurassic Park, and there's just loads of like bird noises and lizards and butterflies. Such a pleasant day today, it really is. So it's the end of stage 23, six hours walking today, 26 and a half kilometers. It was brutal, without question, the most challenging day of the Camino so far. It's really taken a toll on my body today. I can feel it in my knees as I walk and I'm in Ponferrada now, which is a gorgeous medieval city with a fantastic Knights Templar castle. And I really wish I had more energy to have an explore around here, but you know, having gone down to the castle, I'm just, you know, used up all the energy I have today. That path coming down off the mountain was so, so treacherous. And, uh, you know, I'd be surprised if uh, there aren't, you know, several broken legs a year coming down there because you really do have to watch where you're going every step of the way. Gonna hit the hay now because I've got 26K tomorrow for a day to Villafranca. As always, thank you again for watching. Feel free to drop any Camino questions that you have into the comments section below and I will do my best to answer them for you as soon as I can. And do hit that subscribe button because it really does motivate me into editing the next video.